Hey guys, it's Mike from Mike Stickers, and I want to show y'all how I do cut lines, uh, how I make them, and then how I smooth them out and get them ready for actually cutting. So here's my image here. It's already in a uh, it's already a bitmap. If it's not a bitmap, then you'd go up here to bitmaps, and then you would go convert to bitmap, and then just convert it over, and then this option will pop up. You won't see trace bitmap unless it's already a bitmap. Then you click over here and go outline trace. I always like to go to line art. Sometimes I go to high quality, just depending on what I'm trying to, if it gives me issues or not. All right, you give it a moment to populate up here. It's going to cut out and the rest will be uh, the background. Okay, and then you go ahead and separate that. Notice it cut more of the black out of it. So anyways, so... I have this one highlighted. This is the new image. Now keep in mind when you do this sometimes, this image won't look the same as this. It's not going to have all the same detail. And um, so you're going to want to actually delete this image once you make the cut line. And then you're going to paste it back over the top of this one. So you click on the one you want to make the cut line with. You're going you're gonna to open up Contour, which haven't done this in a long time I always keep it open but it's gonna be underneath effects and then the contour down here it's contour up here it's not this one it's the one that's down here F9 control F9 and then I always I say keep this open over here click on it and then I, I have the the size of the offset is right here I'm gonna click on it and see what it looks like Um, I'm gonna bring it in a little bit tighter than that. Okay, I'm gonna do it right there, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click off of it and then I'm gonna right click right on the edge of it. I'm gonna click on break contour apart. I'm gonna separate out the image and I'm gonna delete that. I click on this one, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna make it a transparent background or you know I'm uh, no fill at all basically and then I'm gonna right click on my on my cut cut on my cut color for doing perf cuts I like to change it to a hairline I don't think you have to but I do and now there's your cut line you can use you can paste it over the top of here and see where it's gonna be at the way I did that was I hit uh, I clicked on it and then I put I hit C for center and then E for equal and it centers it up on this other image now it's not gonna do good when you go and cut it it's not gonna like these hard angles especially stuff like oops this little area right here it, it's not gonna like that it's gonna end up catching and tearing there it's not gonna work out right so we're gonna have to smooth all this out same thing with over here. It won't like it won't like that right there. It doesn't like this hard sharp angle right here either. It's just it's, for die cut, it doesn't like that. Kiss cut is fine. So I'm gonna separate those back out. So I'm gonna bring this over here. What you're gonna do is sorry, you click on you click back on it, and then you're gonna you click this this shows all your nodes all those little squares are nodes you can manipulate these and change them up so I'm gonna show you all the way I like to do it so you can go in there and manually adjust them I'll show you how to do a little bit of that but there's something here called smooth there might be other ways to do this. This is how I figured out how to do it. When you do this, it's going to smooth out these lines. Now you see how many nodes are in there right now. Keep an eye on it. You see there's a bunch of nodes. Now watch after I get done going over it. Now it is going to change the shape of it some. So the, the key thing is you only want to do this like once, maybe twice um, around it because it's going to change the shape of it some and it might make it to where you don't want to use it.
All right, now you see there's a lot less nodes. You see how many fewer nodes there are? So now I'm gonna go back and click on shape to change it back to the way it was. And then click on my arrow, my select tool. I'm gonna put it back on top and check it out and see. You can do this while it's on top. I just took it off to make it easier for y'all to see it. Now you see it doesn't, it's more of a curve or a swoop right here instead of that sharp angle. Same thing here, it doesn't come down real deep and sharp anymore, but it still follows the basic shape. So this over here still is not gonna work. I'm gonna have to fix that. I'll show you how to do that. And same thing, I'm not, I'm not crazy about this either. And then, let me see, this is okay. You could just go straight across. I might just go straight across. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the actual shape tool again. Not the shape tools, sorry, yeah, shape tool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna click on the shape tool, there you go. So you can click on this guy and then hit delete, delete. You can basically, you can add new ones too. So if you don't, if I delete all these, it's gonna pull it up tighter because of where this is sitting up higher. So you can make an anchor point of, for where you want your lines to be basically. You see that squiggly line there, the S line, that means that I'm on the, the cut line. I can double click and add a node. I can double click and add a node down here where it's kind of lower, it's a little bit lower right there and then I can delete these guys and it's gonna make a straight line across there oh it curved it down and so you click on the node and you see this arrow right here is point is showing that that angle is pointed down so you can grab this node or you can grab the arrow and pull pull it back up and make it sit where you want it to sit Click off of it, click back on it, and kind of see. I'm not completely crazy about the way it's coming down here. I can really fix that if I want to fine tune it. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to add a node right here. I want, I like these guys to be right across from each other. So I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to pull this guy in like this, in the middle. Put it down there. You see, it looks kind of funky right now. I'm gonna click off it and see it's it's kind of funky. That doesn't look good. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this node right here. I'm gonna delete it. And then you see that it made a, a nice curve and it's a lot further out than it was before, so it's gonna cut easier. It's not going so deep in there. And then this guy, I'm gonna change it way up. So I'm gonna make an anchor point right here. A little anchor point right here. I'm going to add one right here in the middle at the tip of it. I'm going to delete this one, delete this one. I'm going to pull this guy in right here real far, right there. I'll click off of it and see. You see, that's not desirable. That's not how I want it. I don't want it that sharp. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to delete and see it makes it more of a it's still kind of sharp. You could fine tune that if you wanted to by like, look, put an anchor point here. Maybe put one here. You have to put this in the middle. I'll pull it down some more. Now I'm gonna click on it, delete it. Now I can delete some of these. I can maybe delete this one. Let's see what this does, if it changes it too much. Yeah, it changes it too much. I don't want that. So I'm gonna delete this one and see what happens. Yeah, that's not bad, I like that. That'll work. And then you can go through and smooth some out. If you don't need all of them there, you can smooth them out. I kinda don't like the way that's at a sharp angle. I don't want that either though, so maybe delete this one. Nope. All right, so I'm gonna go in here. I don't like the way this is doing that right there. That is not good. So I'm gonna add a node right there. I'm just simply gonna pull this down. And 
No, let me see. I'll click off of it. Let me see what happens now. Oh, that's better. That's way better. Some of this isn't perfect. I'm not crazy about how tight it is right here. You can mess with this as much as you want and try to manipulate it and you know fix it to your liking. Let me see if I can pull this out just a little bit right there. Yeah, I like that. This guy, I think I can delete. I can delete one of these, maybe this one here. You want as few of these nodes as possible while still being able to keep the design. No, I'm gonna put that one back in there. I don't like having nodes right in the middle of, of a corner though. I like to delete those when I can, but this one, it looks like it's gonna maybe mess up the design if I don't. I'm gonna try to put these here for like anchor points. Delete this one. There you go, there you go, that works. I like the rest of it. I think the rest of it looks good. It's nice and smooth. I say I might pull this down just a little bit. Let me see what I can do here. If I can just change the angle. Uh, no, I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna try to pull it down. Let me do that. That might that might look better there. Let me see. All right, so I need to lift this up from here. So y'all get the idea. You can mess with this as much or as little as you want, but the idea is to delete some of the nodes so that it cuts it smoother. And then now you got a pretty good clean cut line if you you see it's kind of close right here and if you're worried about that not being uh, a big enough of a black area on the back here's a little secret so I'm gonna make it make it better alright so I'm gonna copy this paste it over here oops okay I'm gonna change this to black I'm gonna right click to make it black instead of hairline I'm gonna make it a point 12 maybe point 12 I don't even know if I need it that big let's go to 10 point 10 all right this is gonna be on top of the image so we want to make it behind the image I'm gonna right click it I'm gonna go to order I'm gonna go to back a page now it's behind so again I'm gonna click on this one I'm gonna press shift click on the second image I'm gonna go center and then equal and you see it put it behind there. I'm going to group those together. Now I'm going to put this right on top of that. Center and equal. Now it gives it more of a background to cut on and make sure it doesn't get off into the white of the vinyl. And then you can just... I didn't get that. Could you try again? I wasn't talking to you, Siri. Okay, and then you just uh, copy or, you know... Uh, Put all that together, group it together, and then you got your image that you can use when you go and go to cut it. You know, obviously you have to have registration marks on there and everything. You're gonna unselect the layers that you don't want to cut. So when you deselect that black layer, you're just gonna see the blue in there. And then um for perf cuts I use condition 3 and I fine tune it from there I use restrict media movement you select restrict media movement I think that helps out a lot and that's it of course you want to have registration marks and then you're going to click that box to have them on but it is not detecting any because there's none there anyway so that's that's the idea if y'all have any questions or anything, just go ahead and comment and ask your questions. I'll do my best to answer everything. And if you have any other videos that y'all want to see me make, just let me know. 
please like, share, subscribe. All that helps out a lot so I can make more videos and help y'all out even more. Thank you. Y'all take it easy.